Paranoid Android Pi beta builds are in the building. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And guess what? Paranoid Android Pi beta builds are rolling out for select devices. Go ahead, follow the team on Twitter to get the latest updates on which devices are getting Paranoid Android Pi beta builds. In this video, we're going to have a look at the features of Paranoid Android Pi beta and we're going to use the Xiaomi Poco F1 for this purpose. Let us first go into settings, go into system, go into about phone and bam, there you have it. Paranoid Android Pi beta running on the Xiaomi Poco F1 with security patch as October 5th, 2018. This is how Paranoid Android Pi Beta comes out of the box. You have this pretty awesome wallpaper, Android 9.0 Pi recents in the building. Let us go ahead, go into settings. Nothing much to talk about in network and internet and connected devices. Let's go into apps and notifications. Click on see all apps and check out what all apps come baked in with Paranoid Android Pi Beta. You have your ASOP keyboard, calculator, calendar. You have ASOP camera. I did go ahead and install the Google Pixel 3 camera APK on this guy because camera 2 API is enabled out of the box so you can rock your Pixel 3 camera mods. Other than that you have your Chromium browser, clock, ASOP contacts, digital well-being, you have your file manager, Google Play services so you do have to install Google apps with Paranoid Android Pi Beta. Then you have ASOP messaging app, music app, phone app. I did go ahead and install the Google Pixel 3 wallpapers, but they are crashing right now. And you have quick step launcher in the building. As for the gallery, you have the Snapdragon gallery and you also have sound recorder along with SIM toolkit. Next up in apps and notifications, you have time spent in apps. So from here you can track how much time you spent in certain applications. And if you want to limit yourself from spending more than a specific amount of time in those applications, this is where you can do that. You have full control of your notifications, which default apps you want to set. You also have app permissions in the building. From here you can decide what all applications have access to your body sensors, calendar, call logs, camera, contacts, and other settings. Next up in settings, we have battery. Inside that we have battery saver. This is where you can extend the battery life of your phone if you're low on battery by turning off some device features and functions. You can also set it up to turn on automatically when your battery is below a certain level, in this case 15%. You also have battery manager and this is going to detect any rogue application which is draining your battery and let you know about that rogue application so that you can take an appropriate action. You also have battery percentage. If you want to see battery percentage in your status bar and you also have last full charge and screen on time. Back into settings, let's go ahead and check the display section. You have your brightness level so you can go ahead and adjust your screen brightness. You have night light in the building so you can schedule at specific time when you want night light to be turned on and off. And you have adaptive brightness, something which Google added with Android 9.0 Pi wherein your phone will automatically learn your brightness settings in specific environments. Once you're back in that environment, the brightness will adjust automatically to that level which it had learned. Next up, you have pocket detection. So when the phone detects that your device is in the pocket, it will block screen and button inputs, a pretty nifty feature. As for the wallpaper, right now you have only one wallpaper which comes as default, but this is a pretty awesome wallpaper. And like I said before, I did go ahead and install the Google Pixel 3 Live wallpapers, but the application is crashing right now. Other than that, you have your sleep, auto-rotate screen, whether you want it on or off. You can customize the font size, the display size, the screen saver, and you also have ambient display in the building. You can turn it on or off for new notifications. Next up, we have device theme. You can choose between three options, automatic, light, and dark. Let's go ahead and choose dark and bam. Now my quick settings panel is dark along with the neon green from Paranoid Android. Next in settings, we have sound. Nothing much to talk about in sound, but you do have touch vibration, touch sounds, charging sounds, style pad tones, screen locking sounds. You can toggle all of these on and off. And you also have Android 9.0 Pi style UI. Use this guy to change your media volume and this guy to change your ringer. Next up, we have security and location. So the fingerprint scanner is working like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you go ahead and go into smart lock and then click on trusted face, click on setup, click on next one more time 
as you can see it is black and white which means ir face unlock will work on the xiaomi poco f1 and you can also go ahead and set up voice match in which case you can use the keyword on the screen to unlock your phone next in settings we have digital well-being and this is something which google added new with android 9.0 pi wherein you can go ahead and see how much time is spent in certain applications and if you want to limit your time in those applications this is where you can do that next up in settings we have the system option inside that we have buttons you can go ahead and disable your on-screen navigation bar if you want to next we have gestures go ahead and click on swipe up on home button enable this guy and there you have it android 9.0 pi gestures in the building working like a boss now if you are a xiaomi poco f1 user and you want to disable the notch as of now on this build you cannot disable the notch because you do not have the option of display cutout even if developer options is enabled i think it's something which they missed and they're gonna probably add it in the future builds in addition to all those features you also have smart auto rotate in the building so if i hold my phone like this go ahead and rotate it like so the auto rotate option just appeared even though my screen rotation is set to off so that's it for the first look at paranoid android pi beta build i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you